you've got a new Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. You've gone through the process of setting it up, but now what? Well, we're gonna show you how you can optimize it to keep it running at its best, and also how you can open it up so that you can really use the full potential of your Fire TV stick or cube. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we're gonna show you how you can set up your Fire TV stick or cube to get the most out of it. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go across to the settings called just over there on the right, go down and across to display an audio, middle button on the remote control. Go down to screensaver, middle button, and what you really wanna do is you wanna turn this off. So go to start time, whatever's shown there, just go down to never, middle button, and that'll mean your screensaver will never kick in. Don't worry though, because you will still find that the screen will go off after a certain amount of time. The screensaver will take up a little bit of space on the stick, so, and you don't have a lot of space on the stick. So once you've done that, press the back button once on the remote control, then go down to audio, middle button, okay, and navigation sounds. This is that clicking noise. Every time you touch the remote control, you get this click. So turn those off. They're annoying and it can slow down the uh, cube or stick. Only by a little bit, but highlight navigation sounds, middle button on the remote control. Let's go back and back again. And then we go across and down to preferences, just over there on the right, middle button on the remote. Go down to privacy settings, middle button. And what we wanna do is we wanna turn device usage data off because this is sending information about the way we use our Fire TV stick or cube back to Amazon. Let's turn it off and middle button again to turn off, go down to collect app usage data, turn that off by pressing the middle button, middle button again, interest base ads again, turn that off by pressing the middle button, middle button again, so do that for all three. So all three of these are off, like I say, it's sending information to Amazon, which is gonna use a little bit of bandwidth and it's gonna take up a little bit of processing power to do that and we need all the processing power and bandwidth we can get our hands on with the Fire TV stick or Cube. Go down to data usage monitoring. Now you can keep this on if you want, or you can turn it off like it is by default. Now that will show you how much you bandwidth you've used, what gigabytes you've used. So that is good if you're on a limited internet connection, if you pay per megabyte. But if you don't, turn that off. Again, it's taking up processing power and RAM. Go down to notification settings, middle button. And what you wanna do is you wanna turn do not interrupt on because you you don't want things popping up. You don't want notifications popping up. Again, it's it could uh, potentially slow down your stick or cube. Go down to featured content and you want to turn both of these off. Allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay. Now these are the adverts that you get. They don't turn the adverts off completely, but they turn off the animated adverts, the videos and the sounds that go with them. So press the back button. Then let's go up to applications, middle button, go into App Store there, middle button, and what we wanna do is we wanna leave automatic updates on, go to external market links, and leave that as ask before opening, back button, in-app purchases, we wanna turn that off because we don't wanna be purchasing things un unwittingly. Go down to notifications, turn that off. Don't want notifications coming up on the screen related to the App Store. Again, this could slow down the Fire TV stick or Cube or interrupt what we're doing. Go down to Amazon Photos, middle button, turn off allow guest connections and disable access to Amazon Photos. So highlight those, push the middle button, push the middle button again on disable and disable again. Now, sometimes you'll find that you'll need to go back into this a second time. So go back in and then go down to allow guest connections, middle button, turn that off, then back button. Go back into it again just one more time just to make sure that uh, it is actually switched off. Press the back button a couple of times to go back here. And then the next thing we need to do is we wanna go across and down to My Fire TV, middle button, go into about, and then go down to either install update or check for updates, press the middle button on the remote control. If there are any updates, let them install. It might take a few seconds, just be patient at this point, and it might also want to restart the Fire TV device. So again, just be patient with that. 
So once it's finished the update, go in again and click on check for updates. And just do that a couple of times, just to make sure there are no further updates. Because sometimes if you've clicked it a couple of times, it might say your Fire TV is up to date, but then another update might come in. So once your Fire TV is up to date and you've confirmed it by pressing the check for updates a few times, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out of this, so press the back button, a couple of times okay we've got this come up here so you can use your game controller or mouse to play tablet games if you want to on this and if you want to follow those instructions middle button on the remote control to allow that to uh, to configure but if not if you haven't got one of these then just keep pressing the back button until we go back to the main menu now the next thing we want to do is we want to download an app which will help us open up really the full potential of our fire tv stick or cube and we'll just go to the magnifying glass there go down middle button on the remote control and then when the keyboard comes up start to type downloader and as you type it you will see downloader appear underneath go down to it highlight it middle button on the remote control select this orange and white icon just here middle button and then middle button again to start downloading it now this it might take a bit of time um, okay it comes up here you've got an app so if that comes up press the middle button and then once this says open here middle button again and uh, we're going to open downloader now this is very important you need to allow downloader to access photos media and files on your device so make sure that allow is highlighted middle button on the remote control and then middle button again and then what we want to do is we want to press the back button a couple of times to come out of it keep pressing the back button until we're back to the main screen. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go across to settings again the settings cog just on the right and then go down to my fire tv. Now if we haven't got developer options in this list like I haven't there then go into about and then actually select the name of your Fire TV stick or cube, which should be already selected or highlighted in white. And then what you wanna do is just keep pressing the middle button on the remote control until it then says, no need, you're already a developer. Okay, once you see that, back button on the remote control, and there you go, developer options are there. So go down to developer options, middle button on the remote control, and then we wanna go down to apps from unknown sources, if that's switched off, we want to press the middle button on the remote twice, and that goes to on. But in that menu, if you've got install unknown apps like I have here, highlight it, middle button, and then go down to downloader, and if that's set to off, middle button to turn it back on. Now just keep pressing the back button to go back to the main screen. And once we're back there, what we need to do is need to press and hold the home button on the remote until this appears, let go, go across to apps, select that middle button and then go down and across to downloader, middle button to go into it. Press the up button once on the remote, middle button, and just type in there 21203, that's 21203. Then press the play pause button, and then what will happen is that will take you to my website, and from there you can download other apps which will enable you to get other apps, which will really open up the full potential of your stick or cube. So there you go, that's a great little guide for you on how to optimize your stick or cube for the best settings so that you get the most out of it, and it shows you a way of getting more apps on your stick if you need them. I hope you like this video, and if you did, why not hang around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.